Hello, I'm Melissa Johnson, one of your local board members. Hot Springs Health has been serving our community for over 75 years. And we're not just a hospital. We have three family practice clinics and a surgical clinic. Today, we're very excited to show you the next phase of your healthcare system. So please join us in a virtual tour. Come on in. Hello, welcome to phase one of your brand new hospital. I'm Bill Williams, a member of the board of directors. Uh, to my left is Melissa Johnson, whom you've already met. To her right, Heath Overfield. To his right, Dan Hurt. And to my right, David Korowitz. Five members of the best hospital board in the state of Wyoming. We thank you for watching this uh, tour. We thank you for your support in making this phase one hospital happen. It's not been on our shoulders, it's been on the shoulders of the whole community, and we're very appreciative of your efforts. We would like you to welcome, like to welcome you to Hot Springs Health and the virtual tour of the new hospital. I'm Margie Molitor, CEO of Hot Springs Health. Why Hot Springs Health? because Hot Springs County Memorial Hospital no longer represented what we were as an organization. We now also include three family practice clinics and a surgical clinic, and we are the hub of healthcare in the Southern Basin. Welcome to phase one of our building project. You have made this a reality for us, and I'm so proud to be able to show you our progress. Circumstances have prevented us from doing the open house we had originally planned, and I hope that our virtual tour fills those gaps. Before we start, I want to review some of the things we wanted to accomplish with this building project. We wanted large single rooms, they needed to be handicap accessible, and we needed showers in every room. We also needed large ORs to accommodate the technology now needed to pro provide those surgeries. We also needed new modern infrastructure, which we have with new heating and cooling and infant security. I want to briefly now review on the plans what we'll be covering today. This is the entire phases one through five of our building project. We are just reviewing phase one today. Phase one is all of the new addition, all of the new construction. So we are right in the lobby right here now, and we're going to review this part of the building. The other parts of the building are actually renovating the existing building, and that is phases two through five, which we hope to have accomplished by early in 2021. So as we walk through this tour, please remember that this is a phased project. So that means that several things are not completed yet. Some of the exterior finishes, the landscaping, the permanent driveways and sidewalks will all be finished by the end of phase three. And we also have to demolish the southern wing of the hospital prior to getting all those things done. So from here on out, I'm just going to narrate because you didn't come to see and look at me, you wanted to uh, see the actual beautiful building that we have. Thank you and have a great tour. Our lobby is spacious and welcoming. It includes seating for dining once our cafeteria is completed in phase five. Our idea was to bring the natural beauty we see outdoors every day to the inside of the building. It guided our color selections, red rock, sage green, and blue green watercolors. On the far upper corner, you see a blank wall. A photo of Hot Springs State Park by Jeb Shank will be the focal point of the facility. We are located in the park and it is fitting that we represent our surroundings. It will be installed after we open phase one. As you enter the lobby, you will see three registration offices with privacy doors. Waiting space outside each office, including easy access chairs, is available. OB patients, visitors, and outpatients will proceed down this hallway just past registration. To my left will be the new kitchen and cafeteria. The door on my left is the temporary connection to the old hospital and outpatient services. Our lab, x-ray, cardiopulmonary, and ambulatory services will be through those doors. In the beginning, we will have wayfinders to assist you to your destination, and staff will come to the lobby to take you back. Through these doors, we are now in the actual inpatient part of the hospital. These doors will remain closed at all times for your privacy and also as part of our infant protection system. 
You may notice as we take our tour that we do not have any artwork on the walls yet. This is intentional. We want to move in and get a feel for the space before decorating. To our right is the North part of our nurses station. It is one large contiguous nurses station that connects our OB nurses, our med surge nurses, and our ER nurses so that they are able to all work together to be more efficient and safe. Now I'm going to hand you off to our OB nurse, Lindsay Simpson. Our labor, labor delivery recovery postpartum area and nursery is to our left. Thanks and have a good tour. Hi, I'm Lindsay with Hot Springs Health, here to show off our new labor suites. Here we have a built-in sink fitted to accommodate newborn bath, so baby gets to stay in the room for the bath process. Over here, we have new built-in cabinets to hide all of our equipment until time of delivery to decrease clutter. We have our warmer in here. We will store the bassinet in here for the baby after delivery. And over here is table we will set up. This counter is available for storage of personal items for OB and significant other. Directly above, each room is equipped with individual thermostats to heat or cool room for preference. And we have this closet and cabinet for the OB and for support person to store their personal items. Each bed, we now have new state-of-the-art lighting system that can be directed four different directions depending on We have new state-of-the-art labor monitoring system equipped with portable monitoring so mom is not tied to bed during labor. We have a new infant security system for the safety of your infant. And we have new pain management options, including epidural, IV pain management, and a brand new nitrous oxide system for labor management. Our OB suites also have new private bathrooms equipped with a jetted tub for comfort during labor. They also have a individual stand shower. Our other labor suite is also equipped with a private bathroom that includes the state-of-the-art jetted jacuzzi tub, to assist with pain during labor, and a stand shower, just a slightly different configuration. This is our nursery, and if you were ever in our old nursery, you can see how much more spacious this one is and appreciate it. We are by regulation required to have a second room, which you see in the far part of the picture, and that is for our babies that require closer monitoring. Through these doors, we are leaving the obstetrical suite and entering the surgical suite. The proximity was intentional to speed the transition to OR if we need to. To our left will be phase two and three completion for our ambulatory suite, our pre and post operative and infusion services. To enter the surgical suite, we enter the doors on our right and they will be badge access secure. The surgical area is, I think, the crown jewel of our building project. As you see, when you enter, it's light and bright. There is natural light coming through the windows, which is a rarity in many surgical suites, and welcomed by our staff. Right now, I'm going to turn you over to Trina Slover, our Director of Surgical Services, and she can give you a tour of our surgery department. Welcome to the endoscopy suite. This room is much larger than our previous suite. Uh, we will have an endoscopy tower here to do our procedures and we'll have a monitor on this side as well for the physician to be able to see his procedure. We also have these nice new uh, beds that lay flat for your procedure when you're done. It will nicely into a chair. When we're done with your procedure, our scrub tech will be taking the equipment. We go right straight through the room and go
goes dirty, across to clean. When we're done, we have this drying cabinet that stores the scopes and it hooks up flowing air through there to keep any water from cooling in the lumens. After leaving the endoscopy suite, we come around the corner and we have a control desk here for our nurses. They can sit here and chart on their patients or review any pertinent information that they need for patient care. We also have the red line here. Past this line, you have to be properly attired for OR, which includes scrubs, hospital, laundered, hats, and booties. Over here, we have our first OR. We have scrub sinks here that also have automatic eye lock. And then we move into our first OR. This is the first of two new ORs that we have. They are greatly improved in size. Each of them are 600 square feet. Uh, we have a brand new lights and booms integration system, uh, which all works directly right here from the nurse's desk. desk. We can hit one button and everything will turn on. When we have towers for doing arthroscopic procedures or laparoscopic procedures, we can designate which screen the physicians would like to have the picture on. And we can also move those so that they have a better view. And that also all comes from the nurse's touch station here. One of our favorite features in this room is this boom. It holds our pottery equipment as well as an extra shelf for additional equipment needed depending on your procedure. On the back here, this boom is easily moved to, in a full range depending on what your procedure is. We can throw things up on this edge. If needed, we can move it to the bottom of the bed. Things can come off the end. Or depending on whether you're having a right or left sided surgery, we can also move it over to this side. The steering wheel here helps give it a lot of ease and movement. Our physicians and surgeons have tried it and they believe it's one of the easiest booms they've experienced with moving. We have a green and a blue brake which work the green and blue lights so we can bend the boom to position it just where we need it. Here at the head of the bed is where anesthesia sits. We have brand new anesthesia machines updated and ready to go. They have a boom behind them which all their gases and power plugs into and that keeps all those cords off the floor to avoid tripping hazards. Here at the back of the room we have pass-through cabinets. We can stop from the back from the sterile corridor and have everything on the front. When we're done at the end of the day, the nurses can come back to their nurse's station and in two, two touches, we can shut the power down to the integration system. Outside the door, we have this critical room control monitor. It shows which room we're in, and as we were just in that room, it shows that it was occupied. Down here we have the room humidity and the room temperature. Those are vital information uh, to keep our room up to standards. Going down the hall this way, here we have our second OR. It's an exact same print as the first one. And we've also had contractors and equipment supply people mention that they think these, this whole OR department was one of the most well put together ones that they've seen. After your procedure, we'll be taking you to your wake up room, which will be right through these doors. This 
room is called the recovery room or PACU, post anesthesia care unit. We have three beds in here, along with a nursing station. With these rooms here, we have the option to watch and monitor you here, and then we can discharge you also from this area. We're back in the OR hallway. When our procedures are done, scrub techs will be bringing their instruments down this hallway through this door to the sterile processing department to be cleaned and processed. Follow me. This room here is where we clean the dirty instruments. We start over here with our sink. We have three um, sinks, dirty to clean. This sink is wonderful because depending on how short or tall you are, you can adjust the height to save a lot of low back pain and discomfort. We also have some extra hoses. This one can irrigate through lumens and any instruments that we use. And then this one will blow air through it to get that water out. And then we also have sprays to really power off that bio burden. Leaving the decontamination dirty room, we come around the corner and flow into here to our wrapping room. In this room, once the instruments are clean, they'll go through a washer, like a dishwasher, and what can't get completely saturated with water will get passed through this window. as it will be cleaned and decontaminated from bio burden. On this side, we pick up the instruments and get them put together, tray sets put together. We wrap them as appropriate for sterilization. And then down here, they're loaded off of these carts and they go into the autoclaves. After all the instrumentation is wrapped and being processed in autoclaves, we need to come out and pass through our supply room to retrieve them when they are finished. Our supplies are all here on carts. These carts are on a track system so that we can roll them to save space so we can store more products. You can easily slip in, get what you need, and move to the next aisle. Down here is the other side of the autoclaves. Once they're done, we open the doors and pull the carts out here. The instrumentation will sit on the cart to cool. And when that's done, we will move those over to the sterile corridor. Now we are in the sterile corridor. It passes behind both ORs here and down the hall. We bring our sterile trays and equipment back here to store. We can stock these, both ORs, from the back, and then equipment and supplies are pulled from the front, which helps keep a better rotation of our stock to avoid any outbeats. Outside the storeroom, we have this hallway here. Down this hallway, we have staff locker rooms, so we can change into our proper OR attire. We have a sleep room for anesthesia. Uh, at the very end, we have a staff lounge and also some offices down this way. Welcome back to the Central Nurses Station. I hope you enjoyed your tour of the surgery department. Now let's take a walk down the rest of our med surge hallway. We have 12 beds on our patient hall as we take a left, eight private rooms and two semi-private rooms. Our average daily census is five patients. 
The two semi-private rooms give us a little search capacity if needed, but I'm quite certain most of you will have your own room if you come to stay with us. We also have two observation rooms with bathrooms which can be used for overnight stays if needed. Now I'm going to turn you over to Alyssa, our OB med search nurse, who is going to tour you through a private room and a semi-private room. Hi, my name is Alyssa. I'm an OB and med surge nurse here at Hot Springs Health. I'm here to show you around our private med surge room. Each bed comes with their own TV that connects to our pillow top speakers. With our speaker, you can adjust the volume, the channel, and get a hold of the nurse. Over here, we have easy access chairs available for patients who have difficulty getting up out of a low chair. For your visitors, there's a couch that pulls easily into a sleeper. For our mobile patients, each room is equipped with a lift system that helps transport the patients from the bed to the bathroom and back. Also, each bathroom has a handicap accessible shower private for each patient. This is our semi-private room. Each med surge room has a dual blind shade that's able to let in natural light or complete privacy. We also have different options for chairs. This is our high back chair, or we have the option of recliners. Our new overbed tables have additional storage options, including a bedside mirror. I hope you enjoyed your tour with Alyssa. Before we exit the med surge hallway, I wanted to point out that the last room on the left is our negative pressure room, which is an isolation room for infectious patients. We're back at the large centralized nurses station. All the items the nurses will need are located in the central core, such as their supplies, their equipment, locker room, physician dictation room, and dirty and clean utilities. I really think our nurse's locker room is really cool, so let me show you a quick, a quick peek. So now as we exit the central core, it brings you back up to the emergency room. Hi, my name's Bridget. I'm the director of nursing here at Hot Springs Health. I get the pleasure today of showing you our new emergency department. We have six new treatment areas. Behind you, we have two treatment areas and also a physician family consult area. I am also going to show you our one of our treatment bays and our two trauma bays. Let's come this way. This is one of our treatment rooms. This treatment room has its own bathroom and all of our treatment rooms also have their own TV. Next, I'm going to show you where a patient would enter when they're coming on an ambulance. This door leads out to our ambulance bay, and this is where um, any patient would come in on the ambulance. We also have a decontamination room outside of those doors. And then also to your right, we have another treatment room that has a negative pressure room for um, infection control risk. And finally, we have one of our two trauma bays. So in our trauma bays, we have new overhead lights, which we also have overhead lights in all of our treatment areas. The ones in the trauma bays are a bit larger than the other ones. We also have a new monitoring system where we can monitor our patients from the nurse's station. And then we also have plenty of cabinetry for all of our new equipment. Hi, my name is Nina Landis, and I'm the Chief Clinical Officer here at Hot Springs Health. I would like to show you how to enter the emergency department of our new facility. All patients will enter the new facility through the same front entryway doors. As you proceed to the building, you will push this button to open the doors and enter. If you are coming to our facility after hours, the second set of doors will be locked. So whether you are an emergency part department patient or just a visitor, you will need to proceed to this side of the vestibule where you will push the button on this A phone. When you push this button, it will send an alert to the nurse's station and one of the staff members will come to the doors and greet you. 
So after pushing the button, you may proceed to the doors where you will be let in. If you are entering our building during normal business hours, you will simply push the button and enter as you normally would. If you're entering our facility as a normal emergency department patient, you will proceed past the registration desk to the emergency department doors. When we are open, there will be signs on the door instructing you how to enter. Here on the wall is a second A phone. So what you will do is you will proceed to these doors and push the button. Again, it will send an alert to the nurse's desk and one of the staff will come and greet you at the door. At this point, you will be taken to an emergency department bay and registered at the base bedside. Thank you for taking the time to take the virtual tour with us. I hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait for the rest of the project to be completed so we can show it all off to you. Thank you.